Hey everybody, Andrew Fantasia here. Uh, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. If you like us and love us and want to take us to prom, why don't you click the like button and the subscribe button and ring the bell and do the other things that the YouTube algorithm says you should probably do. We're talking Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. And I just saw it and I'm going to give you a little bit of a non-spoilery, just quick review. It's not an out-of-theater reaction because I'm four hours from being out of the actually no i'm like two and a half hours from being out of the theater so i don't think it counts as an out of theater reaction but i am still fresh and still vibrating from the movie if that makes any difference to you at all so mission impossible dead reckoning part one it is part one of two we've gotten a lot of those this year as a guy who loves cliffhangers i have been treated very well this year and overall this is a really good just fantastic Mission Impossible film. But more than that, it's a really good, fantastic action film. It's the kind of film that's just like, it's got all these little things in it that to me just spell a fun time at the movies where you've got an evil henchwoman named Paris and everybody's going after a MacGuffin called the Cruciform Key and there's a scene where there's a sword fight on a bridge under the moon in Venice and the whole third act takes place on the Orient Express. It's like Th this movie is just bananas in all the best possible ways. There are submarines, there's evil AI, there's airport fights, uh, and of course there's Haley Atwell, who I have gone on record saying many times is the most beautiful woman in all the MCU. And the MCU is chock full of beautiful women, so that is saying something. And Haley Atwell just rocks in this motion picture. She is... Um, I don't want to, this might be a minor spoiler, so if you want to know zero about the movie, maybe plug your ears, but I have a feeling they are treating her character in a way where she is going to possibly take over as the lead of the franchise once Dead Reckoning Part 2 is over. They're going to kill off Ethan Hunt or get rid of Ethan Hunt, like Ethan Hunt is going to be done and we're going to be focusing on her character in the future as the main protagonist. Uh, her character's name is Grace, and I am totally on board with all the Grace, because it's Haley Atwell, baby. What can I say? But I really, really liked Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Part 1, looking forward to Part 2. The um, cliffhanger ending was pretty nice. It was not my favorite cliffhanger ending of the year, actually. Um, it was probably my least favorite, if you count her in Fast X and Spider-Man, uh, in terms of just how wild the cliffhanger went but we'll, we'll get to that one day but in the meantime i would say please go see this movie on a big screen it is a ton of fun if you like things uh flying at your face at high speeds when you're standing on top of a train this is definitely the movie for you if you like seeing tom cruise run he runs in this spoilers and then of course you have just great great support from ving rames and simon pegg as always, those guys are just, they they carry this franchise on their shoulders. They really do. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, go see it. I loved it. I can't wait to watch it again, and I can't wait for Part 2. Uh, but let us know in the comments if you saw it, what you think, and uh, once you watch it, talk to us about it. Tell us what you loved, tell us what you didn't love, and we will see you all here next time on Digital Charcuterie. Until then, may you all be the masters of your own universe.